Hello and welcome back to our next lecture from this Adobe Spark course. In this lecture we are going to talk about how you can create a graphic using Adobe Spark. Uh, first of all we will talk about how we can create a social media type of post, okay? Because we can also create other types of graphics for prints or for other types of media or marketing campaigns. So let's start uh, by selecting the graphic option from the project section and we have Facebook and Twitter or Instagram and for this example we will select an Instagram uh, promo because Instagram is very popular at the moment so you can see how you can create an Instagram promo using Adobe Spark uh, as you can see this is the canvas where you are actually editing your new graphic first of all you can give it a name here let's say this is test one okay and this is how our project will be called uh, this is the actual preview of the project what you will see with Adobe Spark with the free version obviously is that it has this small watermark with Adobe Spark it's on any type of project you do uh, even if it's graphics web pages or videos but it's not something which is let's say very disturbing for many people if you want to get rid of this watermark you have to upgrade to the premium version now first things first in the right side we can see that we have a menu and from this menu we can select the layout okay or the type of grid of our post but first before selecting the layout because we can see that we have other uh, another menu okay in the exterior part on the right side we can select a type of design okay and we have variations uh, let's say that we want this one this template we just have to select it and it will apply to the photo that we already have or let's say this one or this one it doesn't matter let's say that this one is the one that we want okay from the design now what we can add if we go with our uh, mouse okay or cursor on the add section we can add a logo an icon a text or photo let's say that we want to add the photo we can search for free photos office and let's say that we want to select this photo we just click on it and it was added okay the photo was added to the post we can actually make the photo smaller or bigger inside of this post okay like almost replacing the whole other photo because you see that it was added and the other photo remained as well we can scale it okay zoom in zoom out the photo we can rotate it if we want to flip it okay it's up to us or replace the image uh, we can select delete info about the photo and we can actually replace the other photo as well let's say that we want to replace the image and let's select office and now we will select a man and the image was replaced for us okay so this is how it works again we can scale it rotate it flip it however we want okay another thing that we can add on the image is text uh, let's say Monday done we have selected and added the text okay I got it and we have text styles and this is from the actual template that we have we have primary or secondary style but we will select primary we can select the size okay let's select the font now and we have different types of fonts here can select a different type of font if you want to let's say that we want this one Monday okay uh, letter spacing okay alignment now we want primary okay opacity order okay and for order we have to capitalize and fit okay already selected so these are the text styles right we can select the, the shape of the text make your text stand out as you can see 
So we can select the text of the shape. No, we don't want that. We want this one. Padding. Like adding something to the text, right? So the text will stand out. Let's say like this one. And we make it a little smaller. No. Primary. Okay, so we have different options here, okay, for the sh for the shape of the text. We can add something like this, but we don't want that, or something like this, or this. Let's stay with this one, okay? Then we have effects for the text. Shadow, outline, cutout, which is pretty neat line thickness okay we, we we can select the line thickness so we have different options for text effects right and then we have the style okay and we just have to select the style for the text it's drag uh, it's like drag and drop here okay so we select a style however we want to we just play around with the styles till we find one that we like let's say that we like this one right then we can go again and play again with the text, right? Color. Let's go. We can switch the colors. Effects. Shape. Type. Opacity. We want full opacity. Okay? So this is how the text looks like. Then in the design section, Okay, we can also add icons, if we go back, icons, like arrow, say that we want to add an arrow, just add an arrow here, okay, we can replace opacity order, we have different options, color of the arrow, maybe we want this type, and that's pretty much it. And we're done okay now we go back if we select here we can go back we can change the layout now if you want to move content without layout okay we have some options here but it's better to leave it like this because otherwise uh, you will interfere with how the template looks like if you select if you deselect this option uh, we can change the colors of the template Okay, we have different color schemes here, or we can resize the template. Okay, for a Facebook ad, we have now for Instagram portrait and we have all the other options. So we can use this, this option to resize as well if you don't want to create a new image, right? So this is how we create a new Instagram like uh, post, okay? And this works the same for every type of graphic. We also have custom sizes if you want to, and in our next lecture i will show you how to create like a facebook ad or a different type of graphic but mainly this is how you will customize your graphics as you have seen here in this lecture okay now what do we want to do it's either share the image or download it to our computer right if we press download we can select print pdf or image just press the start download and it was downloaded now let's see the image Okay, this is how the image looks like. Pretty neat, right? Let's close it. Let's go back. And if we want to share the image, we just select share. And we select one of our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Classroom, email or link. Okay, we can get a link and share the image with whomever we want. Okay, now let's close it. This is how you create a new Instagram post. I hope you have enjoyed this lecture and that it was clear for you. And we are looking forward to see you in our next lecture.